What's up guys? So disregard the back. I'm doing last minute things. Listen, I made it to the finish line. Tomorrow is baby day, okay? So I am just, um, I have my bag packed pretty much. Just have like three items left to put in and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of my hospital bag and the baby bag. But one of the items that I am putting in there is this Mom Cozy, you can see that, okay? It's a nursing pillow and it also has a um, like a belt where you can attach it to you as well and it also can be used for tummy time and all of that so I am um, let's see if it's standing can I see that it's expanding I try to open it before I film but I'm starting to unpack this it just arrived today so we're gonna you know wash it real quick so this is how it looks right so you can also use it as a i don't know if you can see that my baby can start to you know sit up a little bit use this but here is the um attachment that i was talking about there and i believe that's adjustable yeah it is it's adjustable so you just you know pull it yes i'm not going to attach it to me right now but you attach it to you and see, it will attach it to you like that. And you know, so it keeps it like, um, keeps it in place for you or you can, you know, fold it up like so, however you need to do it. But this is going also inside of my duffel bag. And actually there's not much fluffing that needs to be done with this. So it's pretty much good to go. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's inside of my diaper bag really soon. My mom's coming in soon. Like, it's been a crazy, Whew, crazy weekend um as you would see in um or had as you have seen in previous clips um yesterday was jamboree day good job jay um for jeremiah's football team so that was a long day they were very behind it's like seven or eight teams out there but they only played two games his um his group and it was so behind oh goodness i have never been on a football field for five hours so that threw things off and then walmart was picking up a grocery order um to like pretty much last for the month that became very hectic that was a two-day process an hour and a half for one day and almost three hours the next day really really ridiculous so <laughs> my next walmart curbside order would not be at that location it was bananas so that took a lot of my time um those you know yesterday and then today having to go back out again for football for what they call an eligibility check like with the id stuff which i didn't even understand because they check ids before or during each game so what is the point so that was another two hours so a lot of my time taking on things that could have been a smoother process so yeah so you know last minute cleaning and things um, me and the kids were doing last night so probably about 1 a.m and my body was so sore this morning oh my gosh so pretty much done with that and i'm just you know tidying up last minute things and getting ready to install the car seat and yeah and the kids are gonna put together the bassinet for me and it's baby time y'all okay what's up guys it's much later i am actually about to go to bed but i want to show you what's inside of my hospital bag so shout out to my mom for my cute bag here and it even have um a little pocket back there it has some side pockets here as well and also it has a mesh fitting there so have everything over here on the bed i'm gonna show you what i'm packing inside of my hospital bag and also what's inside of the baby bag so let's go all right guys so first thing first i have my wallet 
inside of my wallet i have a money order for the birth certificate which in my state is 12 dollars. so i brought a money order and i also have some vending machine um you know change and money there just in case i want something from the vending machine and i also have my um of course the debit card just in case because they do have a subway as well inside of the hospital and then i also have my id of course insurance cards and then you know everything that's normal there okay so the next important thing inside of this folder and I'm, i have it backwards because i have my personal information there but inside of this folder is all of the documents um the hospital documents and things we'll be signing most of them are signed but a few of them i have to wait until i get there until i get there to sign it but this is all my hospital paperwork and things here and i have brought an extra pen just in case okay so we have that um your birth plan like your preferences whether you want dim music uh dim music dim lights no you know or lights on the lights dim you want music to be played that you'll provide do you want to be in a bathtub all of these things like that so your birth plan basically also there are let's see what else is in here there is also the patient agreement just basically you agree to be treated as well there's stuff in here about blood transfusion if it's going to save your life there's a child identification program consent form so what's so cool about this um i don't believe that this is not around when i had my son my uh, my oldest this was not around or maybe different hospitals different things but the child identification program consent form is a consent to collect um, a sample of the child's blood for purposes of a child id so the hospital will provide the blood sample to me after the collection so that's pretty cool so i definitely wanted to do that then also it's the fall prevention and safety security patient agreement just saying that you know if you need help you will ask to okay sorry about that my mom called she's upstairs okay so the fall prevention is just to you know say that you will not lift your infant when sleepy if you need help you will ask for help when you are feeling sleepy you put the baby back in um the baby's bed you know things like that um, and also you won't leave the newborn alone while you're taking a shower and you won't walk the baby holding, you know, in your arms. You have to, if you're going to be walking around with the baby, the baby has to be pushed in the baby bed. Okay. So just all of that to prevent any, you know, things like that, any bad things happening. Also, the next paper that's in here is the identification band. So you get four. So one for me, two for baby, and the fourth wristband, which we go to my mother. Um, because as I've stated previously in um, earlier vlogs, my partner is deployed. So um, it's going to just be me and my mom in the living room. So anywho, also with the baby, uh, they give the baby two bands, one on the wrist, one on the ankle. The one on the ankle does have a sensor. So if the baby goes too close to the exit, if anybody tries to take off, it's going to shut down and give cold red or whatever their color code is for that. And they're going to lock everything down, nobody in or out. And um, also with this area in this hospital you want to make sure that the name tags whoever is in you know because nurses no shifts and i've seen a lot of lifetime movies and all of it's not you know fiction people are crazy but you want to make sure that they have the proper identification their picture matches their face and they have to have a pink teddy bear if they don't have that pink teddy bear don't you let your baby go but my baby will not be going anywhere unattended my mom will follow or i will follow okay so um because yeah everybody mm -hmm. okay <laughs> also it's the um hepatitis b vaccine which you know you don't have to but he will be getting that and then there's also about the newborn um hearing screening which is i find that and then it's like the um consent for anesthesia the, um if you want it or not, what type you want and all of that. So that was something that we couldn't sign right away. So most of the stuff we went over, we went over everything in the previous vlog I said um, that I was going back to the hospital to do a class. So it was about an hour class where we went over everything of what to expect, go over all of this. So it's really good because when you go into mission, whether you're being induced or your water break or anything like that it's pretty quick so this was a thorough review and it had been a minute for me so um it was really good so like i said resources 
like I said in the previous vlog, make sure you check the resources from your hospital. It's a lot of good resources. They have postpartum classes, breastfeeding classes. Um, they're going to do a sibling class. They have the paperwork class um, where you see everything that you have to sign and you can do some of it and leave your file there or take it home if you want to review and read over, which is what I did. It's really amazing. So take advantage if you're OB um, or your nurse practitioner, whoever that may be affiliated with the hospital that you're delivered at, if they don't know, because they don't know everything and that's okay. Go online to your hospital's website and probe around until you find it. That's how I found out about all these resources. And sometimes your doctor's office may have their own set of resources. And they did, but I didn't take advantage of it. So I went this route, which was good because it's directly through the hospital that I will be delivering it. So let me show you what else I have. Okay, so we have our battery pack. Of course, we have our chargers. It's about a 10 foot. Okay. I also have a neck fan. I don't have a regular fan, but I do have a stroller fan for baby, but I'm not bringing that. So I have this. So in case we get a little hot, um, let's show you what else I have. Okay, so I have my breast pump. Okay, this is my first time breastfeeding. I did not do that with my son. So it's my first time. Um, this is the kind that I have here. All right, I got this through Aeroflow. Okay, there's the charger. I had it charged up. Wait a minute. <laughs> there's the cord thing to add to it. And then there's the charger. And then here, I washed everything. So I have the pump here. And it also came with a nursing bra. So I have that one. And then I also have one that I purchased myself. So really quickly, for those of you who may not know whether you're a first time mom or maybe whether it's your 10th time, and let's say you're breastfeeding or maybe you've breastfed before. Sorry, y'all, the kids acting crazy in the back. Um, but whether you're a first time mom or like I said, whether it's your eighth or 10th baby, if you do not know, aeroflow.com, and I will put that in the description of this video you can go there you can put in your um insurance information whether you tricare medicare whatever you have okay um tricare medicaid whatever it is that you have put your insurance in it will let you know what you qualify for okay and then it'll bring up a list of breast pumps i was able to get breast pumps a breast pump and um some compression socks free of charge to my insurance later on i did receive an email saying that i could be um i will be eligible for the um what is it if you had a c-section which i'm not gonna wear we don't want to go that route um so basically like some recovery things for your body um a lots of information there so definitely look let your insurance work for you right so check that out aeroflow.com shout out to my friend shantia she told me about that so i was able to get my breast pump free and of course if you want something more high tech than whatever you may be eligible for feel free to go ahead and buy your pump well why buy if you could at least you know start with something that has been um pur purchased for you so i was able to pick out my pump there and like i said it came with a nursing bra um which I'll show you in just a, a, a bit. So there's that. And then here is the nursing bra that came with it. I haven't tried it on, but I've washed it and everything. So there's the front and then it's open so that that can attach to it. And it literally you'll pump the milk will automatically go inside of those bottle things. Okay. And I'm bringing that because the lactation um consultant or tech that i met with with the breastfeeding class that we did which was the breastfeeding basics she's usually there and she did recommend or say that we could bring our pump if we need help with it and i'm pretty sure i can youtube this but my box did not come with any packaging so hold on hold on or do <laughs> i digress i found i found it y'all I just misplaced it. I found it. <laughs> but I'm still going to bring it so I have some help with it. Getting everything set up. So yes. So have that. And so I also have some disposable undies. This is by Always, I believe. I just packed three. I believe they give you, if not this, they'll give you really long pads. But, you know, putting that on with the underwear and it's sliding off. Just, you know, put on disposable underwear or the pen and there you go so this is my first time ever doing this i didn't do this with jeremiah i just used pads but we're gonna go this route and for those who don't know because i'm 
I know this is TMI. I'm usually not a uh, pad kind of girl. I prefer tampons, but of course, after you have a baby, you know, there's a lot of things that you cannot do. Your body has to get back right. You cannot insert anything in you and, you know, all of those things like that. I also brought these by Freedom On. These are um, medicated um, like panty liners. So I, I've never used this brand of anything before Freedom On, but I heard it was good. So I want to give it a try. So this has, I believe it has witch hazel in it. Yes. And they also have a witch hazel foam. So if you don't want to spend, I got this from Amazon. I don't remember exactly how much I pay, maybe $11, $12. If you want to go that route, let's say you already have a supply of pads at home. What you can do is go to the store, get you some witch hazel and get some aloe vera gel. So you'll just squirt a little witch hazel on, you'll squeeze some aloe vera gel and smooth it over. Then you'll close, you know, close your pad back up, put it in the freezer. Those are called popsicle pads, okay? So that's just another thing to give you some relief down there, okay? Because it's, it's gonna be irritated. So I have that. Pretty sure they give you non-slip uh, socks, but I have these and they're thick and cozy. I really am not really into socks, but I'm gonna bring these also just in case. And they're also nice and cozy. These were actually gifted to me by my mom and some parents who actually from last Christmas, but this is my first time popping it open. So it shall be used, okay? And then I also have, while we're on clothing, so I have PJs in a previous, um, vlog i showed you guys i was in walmart and i was getting these pajamas i actually did get them so it's like it's um an animal print and it's a little bit of pink on them it's like capris okay so it's a two-piece like um pj set that i have here and it does button but it's also if i can get it right you know it does button i didn't button it all the way but it does button so it's easy to pop the boob out if need be but i also I also have um, this, my mom just actually gave me the sleep shirts. It says, I was like, okay, because initially I was gonna bring this one, cause you know it's black and you know, case some blood or something, but I have this. So the purpose also, the purpose of this, um, I don't plan to deliver in this. Once I deliver, you know, everything you wanna try to freshen up. It just makes you feel better to get out of that gown because then you won't really feel like a patient and you know when you look good feel good you know do good so look at that it's like a one size all one size fits all or most gown or a sleep shirt like the one i have on and it says pray more worry less so <laughs> that's the motto because we've taken all of the blood of jesus with us <laughs> or with me on today because it's after midnight and i really need to go get to sleep okay so also few more things I have my favorite maxi dress nice and colorful this is gonna be my go home outfit okay I also have a towel so let me show you this three-piece set here we're talking about multi-purpose so this was originally um, or it is a makeup bag set that my mom brought me but baby we we gonna use it for other things so <laughs> here's a large one and this is my snack bag yes they may have snacks in the room where you can get your ice and water, but in case they don't, or they don't have anything I like, you know, you never know when you may deliver. So if it's like 2 a.m., the cafeteria is not open, neither is the subway. So yeah, you can always store that stuff, but you know, you need something to get me by. So I put some of my favorite things, and yes, they have vending machines, but again, what if there's something that I want? So here we go. I have a body armor, strawberry banana. Um, I have a beef stick, it's not a Slim Jim, but I have missed really eating these. I've had a few, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a few during this pregnancy, but you really shouldn't. Um, I have some barbecue chips there, so a little junk food. I have a lemon poppy seed bar. I'm actually gonna put another one in here. I love these, sometimes they're hard to find. I'm a, I, I love hot sausages, y'all. Big Mama hot sausages, yeah. I love pickle hot sausages. So that's my snack bag there. Then in my medium sized bag, this is my toiletry bag. So I have a washcloth there. I have a few um, breast or nipple covers in case I have some leakage. 
I have, and this is all travel size items because it just take up less space. So I have my Dove body wash. I have my Listerine. I have my Dove um, deodorant. Okay, I have my Jergens lotion, ultra healing. I really love this lotion. If I don't use this, then I'll use Palmer's um, cocoa butter. So those are my favorite lotions. I have a mini fell off the dresser. I have a mini tube of Vaseline. Okay, rosy lips. And then I have my toothpaste, toothbrush, and tooth um, brush cover. Okay, so this is all travel size items that you can get from your local Walmart. Some of this you can get the Dollar Tree if you want. <laughs> um, or, you know, any place like that. Walmart, Target, you know, your travel section. Okay. So, good items to have. And again, these are makeup bags. I never used it, but we're going to get on today. Why buy toiletry bags when I have bags? And then the very small one, I brought just a little makeup in case I feel like, you know, razzle dazzle a little bit. So there's my foundation. It's Maybelline Shade 125 Coconut. I have some setting spray. I have this marble, it's new, marble brush, um, blending brush. I have my eyebrow wax. I have my favorite palette. It's a little dirty, but ColourPop, love that palette. And then I have some um, concealer. Child, I don't lost my top, but that's okay. It's LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. I think I got that from Amazon, but you might be able to find it at your local um, beauty supply store or even your local um, Rite Aid or Walgreens or something like that. Or if not, Amazon. All right, so also, What's left? Um, that's it for my bag. I'll show you the baby bag in just a bit. And I also have the charger to um, recharge either the neck fan or the battery pack as well. So I have two chargers, okay. The very last thing I will be adding is a robe. Um, in case I am out walking, you know, down the hall, you know that has your back out. So at least I can cover up a little bit. So initially I wasn't going to bring the baby a diaper bag. I was just gonna put his stuff inside of uh, my bag, but they give you lots of samples and things like that. So I'll just put all his stuff in there. So this is the bag that I received here. I believe I showed it previously, but I got this bag off Amazon. They have several like it, okay? What made me want to get this bag and clip it on the stroller, which is good for me with football season. Um, when I had my son, I had a shoulder bag. I'm like a Winnie the Pooh shoulder bag, but that's just not as convenient as what I need today. And then it has the USB port here. So on the inside, you just attach your battery pack and then you're able to charge your phone. It has lots of compartments. So really quickly, what's inside of baby's bag. So, I have the little muffin cakes, burp cloth, and bib. I have, um, let me show you this. It's really cute. Look up that brand. I think this is available on Amazon, Walmart, um, the website. Also, Target. I have never seen it in stores, but then again, I never looked for it. But my friend Shantia found this, and I was like, yes, I want the whole set. So, I have this, the swaddler, and a blanket as well. So, I have that brought some little onesies um, in case I want to unswallow him and you know just put him on something and then I have a newborn little outfit here my friend Shantia sent and you know this newborn stuff you know they're not going to be in that long so I wanted to go ahead and get that out the way um, and in the event that he's a little bit bigger than newborn then we'll just keep him in the onesie and keep him swaddled and then the going home outfit so here's a little um hand mittens uh, um a little hat there and then this says hi i'm new here it's so cute okay so i have that and then i brought an extra like receiving blanket but i probably won't need it but i did bring that and then um one other thing that's in this bag announcement sign so we can take cute pictures and the girl is prepared with the sharpie so you guys that conclude what's in my baby bag 
in my hospital bag and I hope it helps any new moms or uh, reoccurring moms. Hope it helps all the moms out there if you need some ideas on what to bring. And also, if your partner is around, your husband, boyfriend, fiance, whoever, um, mine is not. He is deployed. Um, so my mom is here though. So whoever your partner may be, whether it's, you know, whoever your birthing partner may be, whether it's a family member, a friend, your husband, whomever. Also, you want to make sure that they have some clothes as well and toiletries and things to keep them um, occupied because it could be a long process. But um, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the labor and delivery video. Oh, also, I will have a scrunchie in here as well. Okay. two doses of um it's a vaginal pill that's supposed to soften the cervix and make me have like um uh, menstrual like cramps um the first dose i didn't feel anything so i just have the second dose so we'll see um I'm able to get four doses of that every four hours before um before the balloon will be inserted in me and I think my doctor likes to keep that in for maybe about six hours. So it is possible that maybe you will not be born today and maybe tomorrow. So just have to wait it out. Um, when I was checked early this morning, <sighs> a little cramp. Um, when I was checked earlier this morning, I really, there wasn't much difference with the dilation from last week, maybe like a fingertip. So pretty much going from zero to 10, but it ain't like trick, okay? You know how you say zero to hundred real quick, but well, this ain't real quick. <laughs> the baby is very stubborn. He's moving all over um, the fetal monitor, same way he did at the doctor's appointments when trying to get the heartbeat so they've had to reposition that a lot um i do not recall jeremiah was not like this <laughs> but every uh pregnancy and baby is different jeremiah was not like that he <laughs> wasn't so all over the place 
um but yeah so see you in a bit when your mom comes through because the hospital food is not fooding like it needs to be i'm about to have a steak and cheese sub some chips and a cookie that is not my diet coke by the way that is hers no soda for me but i have some water Okay guys, so it has officially been a little over 24 hours since starting this process. Baby has not come out yet. I have been given doses of Pitocin and my water has been broken. So baby should be out today. <laughs> <laughs> 